Okay, so let's prepare everything for the rendering part. What we want to recreate is this photo. One of the problems is when we have a 3D object that's rendered and we want to Photoshop it onto a 3D scene, we need to first find a suitable photo. And then, well, we have to recreate the lighting of the object so it matches the photo. And even like here, we need to match reflectivity. Uh, and in that case, to be honest, all the time you put into Photoshopping that stuff, just build the simple scene. It's faster um, and it has the same uh, consistency. Very good. So before we however continue, let's talk a little bit about process. This so far is a modeling file. I will save this one now as a new file and for example, I will call this one rendering. In this file, I have a lot of different objects. For example, the scan object, that one can go. Uh, this object I need, the side trim I need. And then here, these two objects I need to go. Uh, tip cut, now this will, that one will never be visible for rendering. Okay, good. So, and because we, we will have to move everything, now it, the easiest way is when we actually turn on all these objects, select everything, and then, for example, we can rotate everything at once. What you do not want to do is just select one object and move it and forget to move, for example, the curve that bends it. So this way, we, we simply reposition the object. So our scene is a little bit cleaned up. I could call this brush collection. And this is an object I use to clean up the sides. And I will go to a viewport to make this look like a box so I can see through it. And also here, this cube that cuts, I will turn into a box. And by turning this off here, the, I can see the objects, but they will never render. Okay, very good. So that makes manipulation and moving everything a lot easier. Um, the brush actually will be vertical, as you can see there. So okay, let's rotate this one like this. And I will use the blue line simply as a guideline. So this is where it would hit the sink. And then there, that's where we're kind of like then the, um, the countertop would be. So having talked about this in the next video, then I will show you quickly how we can build all these objects.